everyone it's hvk plays and you're all watching the operation iron horse raid build recommendation video the reason why i made this video is because i see that a lot of us are still having trouble getting through the raid and more often than not it's because your team doesn't have enough build diversity the reason why this is so important now is because the mechanics are so much more complex than dark hours so as you beat one boss your strategy is going to have to change which demands you to almost change you know your whole loadout but hopefully this will prepare you for your next raid now understand that this is a recommendation where this recommendation is coming from is that these are the builds that i've had to use myself these are the builds that my teammates have had to use and we've been able to get through the raids successfully stress-free they work now also understand that if you are new to this channel please do not forget to like and subscribe and also this is going to be a walkthrough of the builds all right i'm not going to go into the builds explicitly in detail but i just wanted you to see the different types of build that you're going to have to run now following this video i will give each build a you know a little bit more of a detailed uh description so you can even understand like what those builds even mean or even how to make them all right let's get into the builds so this here is my DPS build. Like I said before, I'm not gonna go into too much detail on it, but I'm gonna kind of give you the highlights. I run Unbreakable and I run Vigilance. Some of you may wanna run Glass Cannon. Um, you are gonna be in cover a lot. So, you know, that's not your choice. I use Unbreakable because I like survivability more than anything else. So for your damage build, for your DPS build, you wanna have close to 60% crit hit chance and you wanna have 200% crit hit damage or higher. That is a damage build. And I do believe that every build should have a sweet dreams to meleeing non-elites. All right, I'm not gonna go into too much detail, moving right along. The next build, this is my uh, skill damage, I would say crowd control-ish, but most, for the most part, skill damage. So this on this build, again, a sweet dreams. This build here is what I used and the C sector. So you, if you haven't seen that video, please feel free to go do my videos and you can check it out um, where this goes into a little bit more detail. But I use this primarily for when I run the C sector role. Like this is the only purpose for this build, which is kind of furthers my my explanation of you having to have, you know, more than one build depending upon what role you are playing. All right. So have one of these. And if you want to have just like a skill damage build, what you can do a little bit different i would just swap out the bleed hive for the turret okay moving right along you have to have a healer once again you gotta have that sweet dreams on you so with this build i've seen it run so many different ways which is okay i've seen the chest piece have emphatic resolve um for me i like like i said i like survivability and I'll, of course on my backpack i'm gonna have a uh, safeguard and my weapon is going to have reformation on it. Headshots will grant you 30% skill repair. And of course, you have the future initiative set. Three piece, four piece, however you want it. Just have a skill healing build. That's the purpose. I'm not going, I'm not saying this is the best healing build in the world. I'm saying just have one on your team. Going into the next one. Gotta have a CC build. I would say this build is useful in some in most scenarios to kind of keep control of those NPCs. Um, but this is this is the build that I would run if we do need it. Of course, I'm gonna use the blinding firefly and then the riot foam. And then this is also the build that I use uh, frequently if you've ever seen me do the legendary legendary mission. Okay, so CC is also it can be used. I've seen people do it without it, um, but I like to use it sometimes. Now this build is very, 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 very important. So I like to run, I like to use the Lady Death, you know, just kind of give some damage with it. Um, but more often than not, what I would probably run is a classic ONA and a Sweet Dreams, or even like a a Police M M4 and Sweet Dreams. Every build should have a Sweet Dreams. The reason why it's okay for this one to have it is because you do have some more uh, some survivability. Um, but this here is a vital team build because. Tardigrade gives you or gives your team, you know, a pseudo, you know, unbreakable pretty much. So, and now what a lot of people don't know is that when you kill people with your specialization weapon, it will reset the Tardigrade talent. 
all right but like i said i'm not going to go into too much detail now another version of this build is going to be very important is for you to also have someone with vanguard now this vanguard i would run it with the shield like i already have and then of course proccing that shield will give your team bonus armor as well and then of course i have protector on my backpack but like i said I'm not going to go into this build into not into these builds into too much detail. This is kind of like give you like give you an idea. This is the armor regen protector build, and you know this just just to give you an idea. That's all. That's, that's all this is for to give you an idea of what you're going to need. Okay, moving to the next build. This is a mortar build. Like however you want to you know build make this build work for you. For me, this is just, this is the way I like to have it. Um, I expect into skill damage, I expect into explosive damage, and also a little bit of skill haste. But this is the way I like to run my mortar build. If you have a better way of doing it, please, 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 feel free to run it that way. So I'll remind you: the purpose of this video was to make you know recommendations as to what you should have as far as build diversity. And there you have it. Thank you for watching the Operation Iron Horse Raid build recommendation video. But before you head out, please do not forget to like and subscribe. It's HVK Plays, and I'm out.